Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eighth grade unit four, lesson four. More balanced moves. Problem number one. Mai and Tyler work on the equation two-fifths b plus one equals negative 11 together. My solution is b equals negative 25 and Tyler's is b equals negative 28. Here is their work. Do you agree with their solutions? Explain or show your reasoning. Let's start with my. It looks like my subtracted one from the left side of the equal sign, turning two-fifths b plus one to just two-fifths b. And on the right side of the equal sign, it looks like my added one, changing the term from negative 11 to just negative 10. I don't agree with my because she didn't balance the equation. She subtracted one on the left side of the equal sign and added one on the right side of the equal sign, making the equation out of balance. Let's take a look at what Tyler did. Tyler multiplied two-fifths b by five and he multiplied negative 11 by five. But Tyler didn't multiply the one times five, making the equation out of balance. I don't agree with Tyler either. Tyler only multiplied some of the terms by 5. Problem number 2. Solve 3 times x minus 4 equals 12x. Use the distributive property to multiply 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times a negative 4, which is negative 12. Now the equation reads 3x minus 12 equals 12x. To get the x's all on one side, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 3x minus 3x cancels each other out, and 12x minus 3x equals 9x. Now the equation reads negative 12 equals 9x, but I'd like to know the value for just 1x, so I have to get the x by itself. I'll divide 9x by 9 and negative 12 by 9 to keep them balanced. 9x divided by 9 is 1x, or x, and negative 12 divided by 9 is negative 12 over 9, which can be reduced to negative 4 thirds. Negative 4 thirds equals x, or x equals negative 4 thirds. Problem number 3. Describe what is being done in each step while solving the equation. A. This is the original equation. Step B used the distributive property two times negative three X to get negative six X and two times positive four to get positive eight. Step C added six to each side. Negative six X plus six X cancels each other out and five X plus six X equals 11 X. Step D subtracted two from each side. 8 minus 2 is 6, and positive 2 minus 2 cancels each other out. And finally, step E divides both sides by 11. 6 divided by 11 is 6 over 11, and 11x divided by 11 equals 1x or x. Problem number 4. Andre solved an equation, but when he checked his answer, he saw the solution was incorrect. He knew he made a mistake, but he can't find it. Where is Andre's mistake, and what is the solution to the equation? Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10, so so far so good. 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 3 is 12. Bring down the 8. Negative 6x plus 10 matches with negative 6x plus 10. The 4x matches 4x. And 12 plus 8 is 20. So far, so good. Add 6x, and it cancels each other out, so you just have 10 remaining. Oh, on this side, he subtracted 6x. So on the left side, he added 6x, and on the right side, he subtracted 6x. Andre added 6x to the left side and mistakenly subtracted 6x from the right side. Let's go ahead and solve for x. Add 6x to both sides. Now we have 10 equals 10x plus 20. 
And to get the x by itself and keep it balanced, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. 10x plus 20 minus 20 and 10 minus 20. Now the equation reads negative 10 equals 10x. We want to know what the value for just 1x is, so we'll have to divide both sides by 10. 10x divided by 10 and negative 10 divided by 10. Negative 1 equals 1x, or negative 1 equals x. Problem number 5, from 8th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 12. Choose the equation that has solutions 5 and 7, and 8 and 13. Equation A. Let's substitute the x with a 5. 3 times 5 is 15, and substitute the y with a 7. 15 minus 7 equals 8. Since 8 equals 8, this first set of ordered pairs is a solution. Now we have to substitute the x with an 8. 3 times 8 is 24. And substitute the y with a 13. 24 minus 13 equals 11. And 11 does not equal 8. So these two sets of ordered pairs are not both solutions for equation A. Equation B. Let's substitute the y with a 7 and substitute the x with a 5. 7 equals 5 plus 2. And since 5 plus 2 equals 7, 7 equals 7. And this first set of ordered pairs is a solution for equation B. Now we need to substitute the x with an 8 and the y with a 13. And the equation reads 13 equals 10. And since 13 does not equal 10, this second set of ordered pairs is not a solution for equation B. For equation C, we need to substitute the y with a 7 and the x with a 5. So the equation reads 7 minus 5 equals 5. And since 7 minus 5 does not equal 5, this first set of ordered pairs is not a solution for equation C. And we can move on to equation D. For equation D, substitute the y with a 7 and substitute the x with a 5. Now the equation reads 7 equals 2 times 5 minus 3. And 2 times 5 is 10. So it reads 7 equals 10 minus 3. Since 10 minus 3 is 7 and 7 equals 7, this first set of ordered pairs is the solution for equation D. And now the second set of ordered pairs. Substitute the y with a 13 and substitute the x with an 8. The equation reads 13 equals 2 times 8 minus 3. Since 2 times 8 is 16 and 16 minus 3 is 13 and 13 equals 13, both of these ordered pairs are solutions for equation D. Problem number 6 from 8th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 9. A length of ribbon is cut into two pieces to use in a craft project. The graph shows the length of the second piece, x, for each length of the first piece, y. A. How long is the ribbon? Explain how you know. The ribbon is 15 feet long. When the length of the first piece is 5 feet, the length of the second piece is 10 feet. B. What is the slope of the line? Remember, the slope is the rise over run. The rise goes up one or positive one, and the run goes to the left one or negative one. So the slope is one divided by negative one or negative one. The slope is negative one. C. Explain what the slope of the line represents and why it fits the story. The slope of this line shows the relationship of the two pieces of ribbon. When one piece increases one foot in length, the other piece decreases one foot in length. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.